Uh, I had known Leo Strauss uh, as a thinker who uh, warned against the dangers of intellectuals becoming allied with extreme political movements, whether of the left or of the right. Um, but around the time of the Iraq War, uh, Strauss himself got associated with hawkish foreign policy uh, in the United States. And I wondered, how was it that the outcome uh, of Strauss's influence was so at odds with the warnings that he himself provided about the dangers of intellectuals in politics? Uh, I think there are, in fact, uh, at least three legacies. Uh, one legacy is that uh, of a Jewish philosopher or historian of Jewish uh, philosophy. And that's uh, the legacy for which Strauss is best known, for example, in Israel and also among uh, religious uh, uh, Jews. There's also um, a, a legacy of uh, intellectual history. Strauss did a lot of original research and thinking about how um, uh, philosophers from previous centuries express themselves in order to avoid uh, a persecution, uh, what he called their art of writing. Um, the third legacy, and the one that has created the most controversy, is his association with neoconservatism and hawkish views on foreign policy. That's the legacy, I believe, that's based on a misreading of his teaching, and that's the legacy that I am challenging in this book. There are quite a few passages that I cite in, in the book. Um, one is, a, uh, is from a lecture that Strauss gave uh, in a course on the founder of modern international law, Hugo Grotius, where he said that on the issue of justice, he stood with the progressives, with the liberals. And what he meant there, I think, was probably at a minimum racial justice, civil rights, given the time at which uh, the um, lecture was given, but that's a side of Strauss that's not well known and certainly concealed by his uh, supposed association with uh, radical conservatism. This began with a basic um, error of intellectual history. Um, it, it became known to some journalists that Paul Wolfowitz, who was one of the principal architects of the Iraq War, uh, had studied briefly with Leo Strauss and perhaps had uh, a more extensive relationship with one of Strauss's most famous, if not infamous, students, uh, Alan Bloom, who had written the bestseller, The Closing of the American Mind. Um, but the error turned out to be the following, that Wolfowitz had in fact studied uh, with a hawk, but it wasn't um, Leo Strauss. It was Albert Wolstetter who actually believed th that one could perhaps even win a limited nuclear war, was prepared to contemplate the risk of nuclear war, a view that Strauss in another lecture of his said was frankly crazy, that could not be contemplated by any person of common sense. So they got the wrong culprit in terms of the intellectual um, inspiration for um, Paul uh, Wolfowitz. The most important challenge uh, concerns how Strauss wrote, uh, which was quite unusual. Instead of writing a standard uh, treatise or uh, argument uh, for his own position, Strauss set up in his writings quite often uh, dialogues or debates between different thinkers in different historical uh, periods. So that, uh, for example, Thucydides, who obviously lived many centuries earlier, the Greek uh, historian and writer about war, is made to answer um, certain of Machiavelli's arguments about the need to divorce uh, war from uh, morality. Uh, and so we get this very interesting literary construction of a kind of dialogue between different thinkers across centuries. And the way that Strauss um, gives us a sense of his 
own views about the, the, the more persuasive answers to these hard questions is through a kind of running commentary um, which, uh, about these debates or dialogues. And it, it requires a lot of concentration and attention for the reader to find Strauss's own voice uh, in, the, in the midst of this uh, kind of um, you know, debate. But the voice is definitely there, and, um, but there's always a danger of misattributing to Strauss some of the arguments or points of view that are presented as those of other thinkers um, in these kinds of confrontations across centuries that Strauss constructs in the literary form in which he writes. Mm -hmm.